previously on Quick Bites. I haven't been this disappointed since the cancellation of Quick Bites. Huh? Mom. 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 Wait, we're getting canceled? How's it going guys? This is Anthony with Innovation and Tech Today. And I'm Alex. It's been about two months since our last episode. Uh, yeah, I couldn't find a good place to park. And I've been in a Bolivian prison, but we'll talk about that later. For now, let's get to the news. In what might be the only time that making $83 million is considered bad news, Solo, a Star Wars story, has failed to live up to its predecessors. While both Force Awakens and The Last Jedi broke $200 million in their opening weekends, and Rogue One made over $150 million, Solo has only been able to garner a little over $83 million in their opening weekend, making Solo's opening weekend numbers so low. Hippo crap. Now that I have your attention, a recent study found that river pools containing a large number of hippos tend to have fewer fish and insects due to how hippo excrement affects the environment. In fact, one scientist has said that hippos mostly spend their days resting and defecating. Yes, me sounds a lot like my uh, Uncle Fred. If you knew who he was, it'd be a pretty funny joke. Isn't, isn't your Uncle Fred in the home? Yeah. Netflix recently released the first trailer for their very first comic book. After acquiring Mark Miller's publishing company Miller World last summer, many were unsure how Netflix's foray into the comic book world would play out. The Magic Order, as the new mini-comic series is called, will debut on June 13th and will follow five magical families protecting the world from evil. Needless to say, if this venture into comics doesn't plan out, it's hard to see what the future Netflix has in the entertainment industry. Glasses. They're not just for nerds anymore. Actually, yeah, they're only for nerds. A new study recently published in Nature Connections has found an actual genetic connection between requiring glasses and higher intelligence. Guess that's why my co-host Alex here doesn't wear glasses, huh? You don't wear glasses either. Guess that's why my uh, co-host Alex here doesn't wear glasses, huh? <laughs> Jamie Foxx was recently announced as the lead in the upcoming film adaptation of Spawn. Spawn, which was originally a 90s comic, follows Al Francis, a CIA agent who is killed in battle and sent to hell. While there, he makes a deal with the devil in order to see his wife again and becomes Spawn, a demonic warrior. Well, hey, if they needed someone to play a demonic warrior, they should have just cast my ex-wife. It looks like robots are taking yet another job, as RoboBeer, the lazily named beer-pouring robot, has begun serving suds. The robot, which is being used by Australian researchers, has proven quite the bartender, as it is now professionally serving beer for taste tests. But, in my experience, it's not a real bartender unless it can kick you out of the bar for trying to make out with the Miss Pac-Man machine. Why don't you make like a tree? And get the f*** out of here! Did that actually happen? And that's been it for this week's episode of Quick Bites. Make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back with more episodes. We, we promise this time. Re really. Please come back.